this is Teacher Malu and welcome back again sa Math Habit. Okay, so ang pag-aaralan naman natin ngayon ay adding and subtracting mixed fractions. Okay, so I advise na bago nyo panoorin ang video na to, so panoorin nyo muna yung part 1 nito, yung uh, adding and subtracting like and unlike fractions. Kasi may mga detailed step ako doon on how to solve um, the problems uh, in fractions na hindi ko na maiisa-isa dito sa Uh, video na to. So, I recommend na yun mo nang panoorin nyo bago itong video na to. Okay, so anyway, let's proceed to the lesson. Okay, so ano ba ang mixed fractions? Ang mixed fractions are fractions that have a whole number part and a proper fraction part. So, ito ang halimbawa ng mga mixed fractions or mixed numbers. Okay, and how to change a mixed fractions or mixed number to an improper fraction. So, may steps tayo kung paano natin gagawin ang mga mixed uh, numbers para maging improper fractions. Okay, una, multiply the whole number to the denominator. So, in this uh, example, we have 4 times 2 is equal to 8. And then, add the product to the numerator. Okay, since 4 times 2 is equal to 8, and then 8 plus 1, is equal to 9. Place your answer over the denominator and just copy the denominator. Okay, so ang ating mixed fraction na 4 and 1 half is equivalent siya sa 9 over 2. So ang ating 9 over 2 is improper fraction since mas mataas yung numerator kesa dun sa ating denominator. Okay, so that's it on how to change mixed fraction into improper fraction. Ah, ngayon naman, mag-add tayo ng mixed fraction with like denominators. Okay, so we have example here, 2 and 2 fifth plus 3 and 1 fifth. Okay, so we have steps to follow in adding mixed fractions with like denominator. Okay, una, if the denominator of the fractions are alike, then add together. Okay, so kung titingnan natin itong nakabox na to, we have 2 pip and 1 pip, same yung denominators nila. That's why we have like fraction here. So kapag like fractions, i-add na natin yung numerator. So we have 2 plus 1 is equal 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 and then just copy the denominator. So we have 3 pip. And then we have to add the whole number. So we have 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Okay, the third step in adding mixed fractions is to simplify. So, our answer is 5 and 3 fifth. Okay, checking the answer. So, since it is in simplified form already, so, the final answer in this problem is 5 and 3 fifth na. Okay, now, let's proceed to subtracting mixed fractions with like denominator. Okay, we have here 10 and 3 8 minus 7 and 1 8. Okay, we have steps to follow. If the denominator of the fractions are alike, then subtract together. Okay, so tignan natin yung ating fraction part. We have 3, 8, and 1, 8. Since same yung denominator nila, we have here like fraction. So, pwede na natin siyang isubtract directly. So, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. And then, copy the denominator, which is 8. And then, the second step is to subtract the whole number. So, we have here 10 minus 7 is equal to 2. 3. And then our final uh, sem uh, third step, simplify. So we have here 3 and 2, 8. So it is not in simplified form. Pwede pa nating i-reduce into lowest term yung 2 over 8 since uh, divisible pa pareha sila sa 2. So let's divide. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. And then 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. And then just copy the whole number. Our final answer is 3 and 1 fourth. Okay, so paano naman mag-add ng mixed fractions with unlike denominators? Okay, so we have example here, 10 and 5 over 6 plus 7 and 3, 8. Okay, so we have to follow these steps. Okay, number one, if the denominator of the fractions are unlike, find the least common denominator first. Okay, so kapag daw hindi parehas or unlike fraction yung ating Uh, mixed fraction. So, kunin daw muna natin yung least common denominators ng ating fraction part sa ating mixed numbers. 
Okay, so ang ating fraction part dito ay yung 5 over 6 and 3 over 8. Okay, so paano natin kukunin yung least common denominator? Okay, so we have, since we have here denominator 6 and 8, we have to count by 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and 36, and so on. And then 8, we have to uh, count by 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. And yung um, first common terms or first common number na lalabas sa list is yun yung magiging least common denominator nila. So in this list, ang unang number na common sa kanila ay ang 24. Okay, so therefore, in this fraction, ang least common denominator natin ay 24. Okay, so ilalagay natin ang 24 as their new denominator. And then in finding, after finding the LCD, find the new numerator by dividing the LCD to the old denominator and then multiply the quotient to the numerator. Okay, so paano gawin yun? We have 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4 and then times 5. So 4 times 5 will give us 20. And then, ganun din gagawin natin sa bottom part ng fraction. 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. And then, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Okay, so now, uh, parehas na yung ating, uh, like na yung ating fraction since parehas na sila ng denominator. So, since parehas na sila ng denominators, uh, pwede na natin silang i-add. Okay, so before adding, combine... Let's combine first the fraction and the whole number and then let's do the operation, okay? So, ililipat lang natin yung whole number dun sa katabi nung uh, bagong fraction natin ngayon, okay? So, then, let's uh, do the operation. Let's add. So, 20 plus 9 is equal to 29 and then tw over 24 and then this one, 10 plus 7 is equal to 17, Okay, so okay, checking the answer. Our 17 and 29 over 24, meron tayong improper fractions. So, anong gagawin natin sa improper fractions? So, we have to divide 24, 29 divided by 24. So, we have here 1 and 5 over 24. Since we have 1, uh, 24 sa 29 and then your remaining na 5 is will become our numerator. And then, i-add natin siya ngayon sa ating whole number na 17. So, we have here 17 plus 1 is equal to 18 and then uh, yung ating fraction na 5 over 24. Okay, since, since it is in simplified form already, our final answer is 18 and 5 over 24. Okay, so now let's proceed to subtracting mixed fraction with unlike denominators. Okay, so we have an example here, 5, 11 over 12, minus 3 and 1 fourth. Okay, so we have steps to follow. Number one, if the denominator of the fractions are unlike or magkaiba, find the least common denominator first. Okay, so we have, uh, ang fraction part natin is 11 over 12 and 1 fourth, magkaiba ng denominator. So we have here unlike fractions. Okay, to get the least common denominator, kunin muna natin yung, um, uh, count muna tayo by 12 and by 4. So in here, we have 12, 24, 36, and so on. And then yung 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. Okay, yung first common or your first number na common sa kanilang dalawa na nasa list ay 12. Therefore, ang least common denominator ng ating 12 and 4 is 12. Okay, so gawin na, uh, lagay na natin yung ating 12 as our uh, least common denominator. Now we have to find our new numerator through dividing the LCD by the old denominator and then multiply the quotient to the denominator. So paano natin gagawin? Okay, 12 divided by 12 is equal to 1 and then 1 times 11 is equal to 11. Okay, same with the Bottom part na fraction, 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. And then times 1 is equal to 3. Okay, so we have now uh, like denominator. So like fraction na yung ating uh, equation. Okay, after finding the least common denominator, combine the fractions and the whole number. And then let's do the operation. Iko-combine na natin yung whole number at yung bago nating uh, fraction na 
like fraction. Okay, so we have here 11 over 12 and 3 over 12. 11 plus 3 is equal to, uh, 11 minus 3 rather is equal to 8. And then over 12, then 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Checking the answer, so hindi pa siya uh, reduce in lowest term. Uh, pwede pa natin i-divide yung 8 and 12 sa 4. So 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. And then just copy the whole number. Our final answer is, 2n to 3rd. Okay, so what if I'm supposed to subtract a larger fraction from a smaller fraction? Okay, so solve natin yung problem na to. So meron tayong 10 and 4 over 9 minus 4 and 7 over 9. Okay, so we have numerators here, 4 and 7. 4 minus 7 cannot be. Hindi natin siya pwedeng isubtract kasi mas mataas yung number na nasa ilalim. So anong gagawin natin? So we have to regroup the upper mixed number. So, ang gagawin natin, magbabaro tayo ng 1 sa 10. So, yung 1 natin, i-combine natin sa fraction na 4 over 9. So, yung 10 natin, since nakakombine na yung 1, magiging 9 na lang siya. And then, this uh, mixed number na 1 and 4 over 9, gagawin natin siya ngayong um, improper fraction. By paano? So, we have to multiply 9 times 1. That will give us 9, and then 9 plus 4 is equal to 13, and then copy the denominator. Okay, so yung ating 10 and 4 over 9, ang fraction na ngayon is 13 over 9, and then i-combine natin yung ating bagong whole number. So, 9 and 13 over 9 na ngayon yung ating 10 and 4 over 9. So, since higher na yung number, natin sa taas, pwede na natin isubtract yung 4 and 7 over 9. So, let's do the operation now. So, 13 minus 7, that will give us 6, and then copy the denominator. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. Okay, so we have here now 5 and 6 over 9. Checking the answer, so it is not reduced in lowest term pa. Pwede pa natin i-divide yung both uh, 6 and 9 sa 3. So, 6 divided by 3, that will give us 2. 9 divided by 3, that will give us uh, 3. And then, the whole number 5. So, the final answer in our um, fraction, in our mixed number, is 5 and 2 third. Okay. So, that's it. That's all for now. I hope natutunan kung paano ang mag-add at mag-subtract ng Mixed number na may like fraction at may unlike fraction. And kapag ka uh, subtraction na larger yung fraction na nasa ibaba. Okay, so thank you again for listening and watching. So I hope natuto. And see you again next time.